What's going on everybody? Chris Stocker here with The Life of a Diabetic and today we're going to be talking about diabetes supply organization. Before we start talking about diabetes supply and organization tips and what I use to organize everything, uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Chris. Uh, I've been blogging at The Life of a Diabetic for over a decade now and have been doing this YouTube thing on and off now for a couple of years, so thank you for joining. If you already know who I am, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. I'm glad that my other videos didn't make you go away. And speaking of that, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. It really makes YouTube think that you like the video. Even if you don't, I really do appreciate it. First disclaimer I want to make, my wife is probably going to kill me when I do post this video because I really didn't get approval on if this was nice and clean and tidy. So if you don't ever hear from me again, she's the reason. So when it comes to diabetes supply and organization, I've never really been very organized with things. I had test strips here, lancets there, Omnipod supplies here. Things were just all over the place. Uh, but now that we have two people with type 1 diabetes living in this house, we really needed to get things uh, really organized and straightened out. Primarily because I like to keep my daughter's supplies for her and my supplies for me. Even though we use pretty much all the same products, we both use Dexcoms, we both use Omnipods, we both use the same test strips and meter, so everything's the same, but I wanna make sure that I keep it separate so that way I know how many supplies we, we still have left. So when it comes to organizing anything, we're big like cubicle storage fans. We probably have one, two, three, we have four or five different ones in our house. I do put them together. It's probably the only thing I can put together. If you ask my wife, she probably will disagree even with that. So what we actually like to use to put all of our supplies in are these cool little just totes here. Um, you can get these at Target or I'll leave a link below from Amazon where I think we actually may have gotten these from. These ones are perfect because they fit in our nine uh, hole cubicle perfectly and they actually fit Omnipods great. I also love that they come with uh, lids. So when I actually can get the lid on, it makes them stack a lot easier uh, because I do like to be able to stack these one on top of each other. Uh, with this particular cubicle, we can actually get two right on top of each other. What's good about this is that it perfectly fits 30 Omnipods. So for me, that's actually a one month supply because I change my Omnipod daily for my daughter. That's a three month supply. So she has her own and then, then I have three of them that are strictly dedicated to just mine, as you can see here. Next thing we use to help organize things are just simple, just Ziploc bags. Uh, so we put all of our test strips in a bag. Uh, we actually mark them with the approximate expiration date. Uh, these say 421, so they probably range from 4 to 621. We also have a tote then here with uh, lancets and other vials of test strips that are not going to expire within the next two to three months, so that's why these ones are in the baggie. As you can see here, uh, we do have a whole nother tote. Uh, we like to keep some extra syringes on hand just in case they are needed. Uh, these here are my two totes worth of Omnipods with this one being almost empty so I will what I will do is I will take this one out and I will exchange it with this one and move this one over to here and that's the process that we use to we also have a Dexcom cubicle now this one is uh, my daughter's stuff is on the bottom and my stuff is in the top one so as you can see I have two left my daughter has two, three, actually. She just got hers. Uh, Some of the other things we we keep in this storage area here are alcohol swabs. Um, we were able to uh, get plenty of them, especially back when the pandemic hit. Um, we wanted to make sure that we had plenty in stock and we would not run out. Uh, I also keep some extra pen needles around just in case I need to go off of the pump or we need to do a shot. Uh, for my daughter instead of uh, you know using her pump, but every so often I do like to take some pump breaks. So uh, having pen needles on hand and not having to worry about 
calling in, trying to get a prescription, it, it, it definitely helps us. Now this is our primary storage that we do keep up in our bedroom and some in our closet, uh, but we do have a, a another tote that we leave downstairs for things like some extra alcohol swabs, an extra thing of, uh, of test strips, uh, lancets, uh, enough pods for usually like, I don't know, two or three weeks just so we don't have to grab them from upstairs when we change it downstairs. We like to just have that down right downstairs so we have a nice little uh, area that is just for our daughter's diabetes supplies and that way we don't have to run up and down the stairs if we need something in a hurry. And that's how we store our diabetes supplies. We do keep all of our insulin in the fridge. Uh, so I have uh, the larger vials and my daughter has the uh, pen insulin pen vials even though she doesn't use the insulin pen anymore. It's just what our prescription is for and it's it's a lot easier to, to use that instead of the vials. Somewhat of a short video today, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you learned a thing or two. Um, I know sometimes these tips and tricks of, of how to store things and do things with diabetes have helped me in the past. So maybe it helps you, maybe it didn't. Um, if you did like this video and it, you did learn something from it, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell notification while you're down there so you can be alerted of any new videos that do pop up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.